And good afternoon, everyone. This is Kilo Charlie 9, Victor Kilo Victor. My name is Jim, and this is the Friday Afternoon QSO Vlog Network. This is a directed network, and I'm net control. If at any time during this net should an emergency arise, please notify net control, and we'll stand by and allow those in need to access this frequency. Is there any priority or emergency traffic at this time? And hearing nothing, we will continue. This net is all about ham radio and being all that you can be. That's what our QSO VLUG network is all about. Trying to help people achieve the best sounding station possible. Thanks for dropping by. FYI, my background is 50 years in commercial broadcasting, where a lot of big bucks are spent on audio processing equipment and getting it set up correctly to get the best sounding station possible. Well, long story short, when I became a ham radio operator, I could hear immediately a large discrepancy in on-air technical proficiency. A lot of stations were running with very poor mic equalization, very muddy, with little articulation. And as I continued to work stations, I realized most of the stations were also running very low average peak modulation, many around 30% of average peak modulation. So with my background, I felt I could help, or at least try. I knew that most modern-day ham transceivers did have enough onboard processing equipment to be able to overcome most all of the problems. So it would just be a matter of developing a generic dynamic range setup procedure and then adjusting the onboard EQ gear. And so I started the QSL VLOG network with the phrase, if you have a radio you want to check out, give us a shout. And today, we're currently featuring over 3,000 QSO VLOG air check recordings. And you can access these recordings by going to YouTube and doing a call letter search for KC9VKV followed by the word logbook. That's Kilo Charlie 9 Victor Kilo Victor followed by the word logbook. And we also have a newer series called KC9VKV Highlights. That's Kilo Charlie 9 Victor Kilo Victor followed by the word highlights on a YouTube search. These are some of our less technical and more human nature philosophical kinds of QSOs. That's KC9VKV followed by the word highlights on a YouTube search. Both KC9VKV Logbook and KC9VKV Highlights are segments of our main YouTube homepage of Jim's Radio Story, where we celebrate a 50-year career in commercial broadcasting. A 50-year journey from a 5-watt pirate radio station as a 12-year-old to production director of a major 50,000-watt AM broadcast facility. And the thing that makes this truly a unique story is that I have all the masters from all along the way. Over 2,600 shows, including many full-length major music concerts and radio documentaries. You'll have to check it out and subscribe. Jim's Radio Story on a YouTube search. Our mission statement for the QSO VLOG network is to establish a higher technical level of radio transmissions of the human voice by the intelligent utilization of available electronics in current amateur radio transceivers. Our setup, while generic in nature, converts the average 10 dB dynamic range transmitter with an average 30% of peak modulation to a much fuller 3 dB dynamic range with an average 80 to 85% of peak modulation. This substantial boost in audio transmit level is extremely beneficial in high noise levels and heavy QRM. It allows you to punch through when others fail. The second part of our transmitter setup has to do with proper mic equalization. We're looking to optimize the transmitted voice for a higher level of intelligibility through the use of EQ patterns that bring out the articulation aspects of the human voice. Again, why need to hear the voice if you can't understand the words? 
And also this afternoon on the receive side, we're running five internet SDR receivers, monitoring New York, Pennsylvania, Georgia, and Virginia specifically. And in addition, we're running our newer number five Hocus Pocus internet SDR receiver, loaded with 50 additional pre-programmed internet SDR locations spread out over 20 states across the eastern half of the United States, trying to get the best copy from our 100 watt friends. Now the audio from these five SDR receivers comes up on a six position rotary selector. Also in the selector is our local receiver audio. And today our local receiver is running three large 10 foot vertical magnetic loop antennas. One aimed at zero degrees, one aimed at 90 degrees, and the number three is aimed at 134 degrees. These are run as a directional scanner array with a manual voting system six position rotary selector. Also today on the transfer side, we'll be running our no SWR specially oriented resonant tuned dipole antenna. One leg of this resonant tuned dipole antenna runs broadside to Montreal, Canada. The other leg runs broadside to Miami, Florida. As we were constructing our station, our mantra was 20 over from Montreal to Miami with a hot spot through the Carolinas. And although conditions may vary, the general performance of this antenna supports its mission. Also today we'll be running our input source indicator. So when we switch from an internet SDR receiver to our local receiver, you'll be able to hear the switch and see the switch. You'll have to check it out on our YouTube QSO VLOG video. As we come together for another Friday afternoon QSO VLOG network, let us pause just a moment for the amateur radio operator's prayer. Lord, we pray for clear 20 over S9 communications today. Let all our transmissions fill the air and reach their destinations QSA 5 to be understood by all. And as we pray for good radio conditions, let us also pray for good human conditions. During this time of pandemic that has challenged us all, we pray that you'll protect everyone, especially our elderly. And also, Lord, we seek your divine intervention to bring peace to a very divided United States. As we go through a very conflicting time in America's history with dark clouds all around, we pray that you'll reduce life's daily political QRM between our brothers and sisters. And through your love and guidance, show us the way to find peace and harmony. Help us to communicate with one another 20 over S9. Thank you, Lord, and God bless and protect America. Amen. To continue, I would appreciate all stations checking into our QSO VLOG net to keep their band pass to no wider than 100 to 2900. And again, please, no wider than 100 to 2900. This is the Friday afternoon QSO VLOG network. And now, with all that being said, let's open it up and see who's out there. If you have a radio you want to check out, give us a shout. Kilo Charlie 2 Lima X-ray Delta, is that a roger? Kilo Charlie 2 Lima X-ray Delta, is that a roger? Roger, 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 roger. How are you, Jim? Uh, this is Rod in South Carolina. Roger, that's a 991 Alpha, Roger. Roger, that's a 991 Alpha, Roger. Roger, Roger. Are you familiar with this race? Uh, so-so. Uh, you're in uh, North Carolina, is that a Roger? So-so. Uh, uh, you're in uh, North Carolina, is that a Roger? Negative. South Carolina. South Carolina. Hopkins, South Carolina. Roger. Roger, Roger, South Carolina. Uh, first thing would be, uh, Rod, to be sure you're in that uh, wide uh, transmit bandwidth uh, wide transfer bandwidth 100 to 2900, Roger, Roger. Bandwidth 100 to 2900, Roger, Roger. Roger, Roger, I'm, I'm 2900. 
Roger, Roger. 100 to 2,900. We recommend that uh, uh, bandwidth uh, because uh, it allows your transmitter to be all it can be and then gives you just a slice of daylight before you're into uh, uh, somebody's, uh, somebody else's conversation, Roger. Uh, somebody's, uh, somebody else's conversation, Roger. Roger, actually, I'm sorry. My width was 2,400. Uh, okay, do you have the option of 100 to 2,900? Can you, uh, can you move your transmit bandwidth to 100 to 2,900? Can you move your transmit bandwidth to 100 to 2,900? Okay, stand by. Let me see if I can find the menu uh, setting for that, for that. Over. Yes, sir. You should have uh, three, uh, three settings there for transmit bandwidth. And the, the widest one is called... Uh, 100 to 2900 that's what we recommended it lets your transmitter be all that it can be and then it gives you just a slice of daylight uh before you are into somebody else's conversation uh before you are into somebody else's conversation okay i'm looking now jim but i think i am like 100 to uh, 2900 uh if i if my mind serves me well uh, i i remember putting it to that but uh <laughs> I may have been playing around with this rig. I may have changed it, but let me just check right quick. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's pretty important because uh, regardless of what you do on EQ, uh, if your uh, bandwidth is very l narrow, uh, you'll be uh, rolling off that top end, which is extremely important uh, for the articulation in, in this uh, world of uh, all kinds of adversity. Uh, if you uh, transmit, uh, you know, a phase angle, uh, cancellation because of uh, Mother Nature bending back uh, part of the signal at a later time and when the later signal uh, coincides with the uh, uh, the other signal you know you start to phase you cancel your top and it starts at the top end so you you start losing your syllabic range which is all about articulation and uh, if you have a rather, relatively full bottom end you're going to become Mr. Mumbles because uh, you know when you lose the top end for balance uh, it's no longer balanced and you're just uh, a lot of bass uh, without much articulation so a lot of bass uh, without much articulation so well, Roger Roger Jim yeah that would be menu setting number 110 it says Roger 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 transmit Bravo uh, Papa Fox Yes, sir. That's that's the one. And then uh, past that, then we go to your processor compressor, and uh, we're looking for a third of that. So uh, uh, it's a three out of ten or thirty out of a hundred, depending on how it's labeled. We just need a third of that. Uh, so uh, you know your compressor processor on, and a three out of ten or thirty out of a hundred, Roger. On. And the 3 out of 10 or 30 out of 100, Roger? Crank it all the way to the right. Jim's a narcissist. A bunch of uh, interference uh, delivered QRM interference. It sounds like this is a, a uh, network, please. Uh, a uh, network, please. So go ahead, Rod. So go ahead, Rod. Yes, sir, Rod. We'll move your com your compressor processor up to three, uh, three out of ten or thirty out of a hundred, depending on how your your compressor processor is labeled. We're just looking for a third of it, so it's a three out of ten or thirty out of a hundred, Roger. Third of it, so it's a three out of ten or thirty out of a hundred, Roger. Yeah, just listen to him. You'll sound worse when you get done. Sir, do you have a call sign? Got a call sign, buddy? Okay. Sir, do you have a call sign? Got a call sign, buddy? LXD5D. Yeah, I had the processor set at uh, three. I had it set at three, and I'm about uh, three inches away from my uh, microphone. Uh, QSL. Roger, Roger. Okay, now let's go to your uh, ALC. 
with Mike Green in hand. And as you say the magic word, audio, don't don't stress it, just say it like you would say uh, any other word in a QSO. Uh, but adjust your uh, mic uh, until your AOC is reading uh, seven or two-thirds, whichever comes first. Seven or two-thirds on your AOC meter as you say the word audio and adjust your mic uh, for that. Roger. Audio and adjust your mic uh, for that. Roger. Yes, sir. Okay, now let's go to your EQ. Uh, if um, if you have a P settings, uh, we'll be in the P settings because you have your uh, your processor on. Roger, Roger. You have your uh, your processor on. Roger, Roger. Roger, Roger. So the mic EQ is on. If you can only Roger, turn on or off. On or off. Uh, if you're familiar with this rig, uh, it's like a screen. Roger, Roger. Okay, Rod, maybe uh, we could uh, search for a better uh, uh, outlook uh, transmit-wise. If you could just give me about 10 seconds, tell me about your antenna system, and I'll look around and see if I can find a better path for us, Roger. And I'll look around and see if I can find a better path for us, Roger. Roger that. Now, what kind of uh, equalizer do you have? Is it a three-band or, or a multi-band parametric, or just what kind of EQ do you have there? A multi-band parametric, or just what kind of EQ do you have there? I thought you knew about the radio. Sir, my tune-up is... Uh, Generic. I expect my operators to know their radios. I'm just, uh, you know, facilitating their setup. I'm just, uh, you know, facilitating their setup. ICOM 7300, so I kind of get them both mixed up. <laughs> but I'm on a 991 Alpha now, so if you give me a minute, I can kind of uh, peruse through the, uh, the menu to see if I see any, like, uh, anything having to do with the EQ in terms of high, mid, Roger, Roger, Rod. Well, let me just give you a couple of uh, notes uh, that you might uh, use uh, in setting up. Uh, the magic push frequency is uh, 2.7 kilohertz. Magic uh, treble EQ frequency, if you have an adjustable uh, treble EQ, is uh, 2.7 kilohertz. The width on the equalizer is a 4. Don't get that confused with your transmit bandwidth. This is the EQ width is on that uh, 2.7 will be at a 4 if you have an adjustable bandwidth. And uh, I suggest a uh, 3 clicks uh, boost on that uh, 2.7 EQ. Uh, if you can take those notes, Roger. EQ, uh, if you can take those notes, Roger. I didn't give you a base. Uh, we're just talking about treble EQ. Uh, if you have an adjustable bandwidth on your your EQ, uh, we want a four. Uh, the push is uh, the frequency is 2.7 kilohertz, and uh, the amount of push is uh, four clicks. Four clicks push at 2.7 kilohertz. Clicks. Four clicks push at 2.7 kilohertz. Roger, Roger, Rod. Roger, Roger, Rod.
Uh, try that one more time. Uh, try that one more time. Rod, your signal is uh, coming and going. I have you sometimes at uh, four clicks over the uh, my uh, Virginia SDR, and then at other times you are uh, you are right even with the noise. So uh, uh, let me know. You are right even with the noise. So uh, uh, let me know. Okay, I'll give you my settings. Uh uh, menu set in 119, it says, uh, parametric EQ1, it's at 200, uh, uh, P metric, uh, EQ1 level, I have at, I have negative 9, um, uh, parametric EQ bandwidth, I have at 5, uh, parametric EQ number 2, frequency 900, Paramedic, uh, I'm sorry, uh, parametric EQ2 uh, bandwidth is at 5. Uh, parametric EQ3 frequency is at 2200. Parametric EQ3 bandwidth 5. Uh, I, uh, does that help? Uh, yes, sir. On that uh, uh, parametric 3, we want to make that uh, 2.7 kilohertz. That's your uh, your treble push frequency. Uh, so bring that from 3200 to 2.7 kilohertz. And the width will be a 4. Width will be a 4. And the push frequency, uh, the push uh, level will be plus 4. Plus 4, Roger. Will be plus 4. Plus 4, Roger. Jim, I got him real good in the Dahlona, Georgia, uh, Lumpkin County Middle School, real good. What is the click and the push? Roger. I don't see that information about push. Roger. How you doing, Rod? Did you find all that? You know that menu settings on it. How you doing, Rod? Did you find all that? Uh, few things uh, with it. Over. Yes, sir. Well, listen closely now. I said uh, the uh, treble EQ, you said uh, number three was at 32. We want to move that from 32 to uh, 2.7 kilohertz. 2.7 kilohertz on your treble EQ. Uh, boost of four. Boost of four. And uh, a width of uh, four also. Width of four. Roger. Of uh, four also with the four, Roger. Oh, you're doing a great job. Okay. Um, it doesn't say trouble or base or anything like that. Um, I'm seeing where it says uh, single side band high cut slope uh, SSD mic select uh, SSD high cut frequency. trouble base etc right the one that was at 200 hertz that's your base frequency okay make a note of that your 200 uh, uh, frequency is your base equalizer Roger uh, frequency is your base equalizer Roger That is the one that uh, you said but you had 200. That is your base frequency. 200 is your base frequency. I think you said uh, you had a width of 5 or something at 200. Uh, that's, uh, that's just fine. And uh, I think you said uh, you had a 900. That's your treble. Uh, that's your mid-range, okay? That's your mid-range. And you should set your mid-range to flat or off. That 900 should be set to flat or off, Roger. 900 should be set to flat or off, Roger. All right, solid copy, uh, stand by one. Okay, I just turned, I just turned that off. It's on an EQ2. I turned it off, over. 
Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, EQ3 is your treble. That's the one that was 3,200. We want to make that uh, 2.7. We want to make that 2,700 instead of 32. Roger? We want to make that 2,700 instead of 32. Roger? Okay, EQ3 should be 2700. Move EQ3 to 2700, Roger. 2700. Move EQ3 to 2700, Roger. Roger, Roger, stand by. And that is your treble control. EQ3 is your treble control. You might make note of that. EQ3 is your treble, EQ2 is your mid-range, and EQ1 is your bass. So just for FYI, uh, if you make those notes, uh, that'll help you in the future. Now back to uh, EQ3, the treble equalizer. You want uh, 2.7, 27 uh, hertz, Roger, 27K, uh, or 2.7K, Roger. Roger, 27K, uh, or 2.7K, Roger. Roger, Roger, I have that. EQ3 uh, at 2.7, or 2700, I got it. Yes, sir. Now, if you have a variable width, which you do, uh, put the variable width uh, at 4. Uh, variable width of 4, Roger. Width uh, at 4. Uh, variable width of 4, Roger. That's on your treble EQ. If you on the uh, 2700, we want a width of four. Width of four, Roger. 2700. We want a width of four. Width of four, Roger. Okay, stand by. Okay, let me just let me just tell you what it what it says here again. Okay, Roger, you uh, slipped uh, below my uh, my SDR receive level, so you were back into the noise. Uh, if you've got a copy on me, listen and make notes. Uh, number three equalizer is your treble EQ. It should be reading 2.7 kilohertz. 2.7 kilohertz, width of four, width of four, and uh, we want to push uh, four, four clicks boost on uh, that. Four clicks boost on 2.7 kilohertz with the four. Make, make notes, please. 2.7 kilohertz with the four. Make, make notes, please. Okay, I did that, but what is the EQ3 level? Remember, there's three things under EQ3. There's EQ3 frequency, EQ3 level, and EQ3 bandwidth. Okay, your bandwidth is correct. You should be a 4 on that uh, EQ3, a 4 bandwidth. The frequency should be 2.7, 2.7 for the uh, treble EQ frequency, and a, a boost of 4, a boost of 4 at 2.7 to Roger. Of 4 at 2.7 to Roger. You should be on your P-set of controls. You should be on your P-set of controls. I am. I just told you. I have three E-2-3. I just set the two of them the way you wanted me to set them, but what about E-2-3 level? I currently have it at seven. Do you want me to change that number? No, leave it at seven. Leave it at seven. And, uh, move it up a couple if you have it. Move it up to a nine plus nine. 
plus nine, uh, uh, level push on uh, EQ3, Roger Trowell. Level push on uh, EQ3, Roger Trowell. And that should put you in pretty good uh, state there, Rod. And that should put you in pretty good uh, state there, Rod. EQ2 is your mid-range control. It should be off or, or flat. Off or flat on your EQ2, Roger. Or flat. Off or flat on your EQ2, Roger. Okay, let me tell you what it, what it says here. It says EQ2 frequency. I have that 1500. EQ2 level. I have that one. EQ2 bandwidth. I have that one. So what do you want me to change for the frequency, level, and bandwidth? Put your level at plus or minus zero. Level for EQ2, plus or minus zero or off? Level for EQ2, plus or minus zero or off? Doesn't matter about uh, the frequency, they're uh, plus or minus zero. It's not doing anything or it's, it's off. It doesn't matter what the frequency is. It should be plus or minus zero, flat, or off. Roger? The plus or minus zero, flat, or off. Roger? The frequency is unimportant because it's not doing anything. Frequency's unimportant because it's not doing anything. Yeah, we're doing a lot of doubling there, Rod. Uh, number two, your your uh, mid frequency EQ should be flat or off. Doesn't matter about the frequency if it's flat or off. It's not doing anything, Roger. Doesn't matter about the frequency if it's flat or off. It's not doing anything, Roger. Yes, but. I, I hear you, but it, it says EQ2 bandwidth, so put that to off. Uh, do, do you know where flat is, uh, where it's not cutting or, or, or boosting? Uh, that uh, would be another thing that you could do if you don't have a, 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 an off position, Roger. You don't have a, 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 an off position, Roger. There's no, there's no, there's no off position. It, it just goes from one to ten. Okay, so uh, just put it at, uh, in the middle, it's neither cut nor boost, Roger, Roger. Put it at, uh, in the middle, it's neither cut nor boost, Roger, Roger. All right, so I'll put it at five. Five out of ten. All right. Uh, what's the, uh, is, is that flat? Is it uh, uh, plus five or minus five? Is that the way that goes on that equalizer? Plus five or minus five uh, on your mid uh, EQ? Plus five or minus five uh, on your mid uh, EQ? It goes from one to ten. Okay, and there is no, uh, there's no, nothing on the bottom side, like a, a cut uh, f an amount of uh, uh, cut uh, power. It just as uh, your level is just, uh, uh, let's see, what I'm looking for is whether it's not, it's not boosting and it's not cutting. If, do you have, uh, you know, uh, if, do you have, uh, you know, uh, Roger, so uh, five uh, plus five would be in the middle, uh, Roger, Roger? Uh, five uh, plus five would be in the middle, uh, Roger, Roger? Roger, Roger, that's what I had it set to. Um, so we did, we did the uh, two and, uh, and I believe uh, three, so I think we just have each two one to do next. 
Roger, well, your uh, number one bass frequency uh, sounds really good, so you don't need to do anything with it. I would leave it uh, just like it is, Roger. Don't need to do anything with it. I would leave it uh, just like it is, Roger. I wish I had uh, a better copy on you. Sometimes you, you are fairly good, and then again, you're uh, you're right with the noise. So, uh, uh, you know, I'm trying to get you on the high side. We call that hilltopping. <laughs> and if you were mobile, you would be hilltopping, uh, uh, trying to get that signal at the top of the hill, Roger. Uh, uh, trying to get that signal at the top of the hill, Roger. I think we doubled, Jim. Um, so, uh, EQ, did you say EQ1 uh, was the trouble, EQ2 was the uh, mid, and EQ3 is the bass, or did I, did I screw that up? No, it's backwards. EQ1 is the bass. Take notes. Take notes. That's what I asked you to do earlier. Take notes. Number one equalizer is bass. Number two equalizer is your mid-range. And number three equalizer is your treble. Roger? Number three equalizer is your treble. Roger. You're just wasting your time. Okay, I got it, Jim. So how does the, how does the audio sound now? Because I did all the steps. Yes, sir. I think it sounds pretty good. Uh, I wish I had a better coffee on you so you could hear it, but I think uh, when you're on top, and I've got uh, about four or five clicks uh, over the uh, the uh, Georgia SDR, uh, you sound uh, really good. So uh, I think you'll enjoy your, your recording when you can hear the the peaks. <laughs> yeah, I think your EQ is spot on, and your your uh, level is spot on, and uh, uh, your uh, dynamic range. You're running at about a three dB dynamic range, which is means your average percent of peak modulation is uh, uh, 80 to 85 percent. All right. And if you would like to hear your audio, if you go to YouTube and do a call letter search or KC9VKV followed by the word logbook, it'll take you to this recording, and uh, this will be cut number one in a series of uh, 3200 uh, QSOV log air check recordings. It'll be cut number one and uh, I'll have it uploaded by noon tomorrow. Roger. Number one and uh, I'll have it uploaded by noon tomorrow. Roger. Uh, Roger, Roger, Jim. Well, if you give me a few minutes, uh, at least five minutes, I got my amplifier warming up. <laughs> you probably hit me a lot better. But uh, I, like I said, I just want this rig. I had this rig in the Icon 7300. Uh, it's, I've had it now for two weeks. It's brand new. So uh, <laughs> I really thank you uh, for helping me with the audio. People have told me that the audio sounded good. So uh, I'm sure it sounds a whole lot better now. But uh, thanks a lot for that. And I am warming up my amplifier, so I'll, I'll just call you uh, on the phone. Uh, over. Roger, Roger, Rod. I, I really wish, sir, that you would have done that in the beginning. It would have simplified a whole lot of stuff and we wouldn't have been talking over each other. You know, it would have cut probably about uh, 20 minutes out of our uh, setup if you had uh, thought to turn on your amplifier in the beginning. I can't understand why anybody that has an amplifier, uh, you know, doesn't doesn't use it. It's just, uh, you know, particularly in a situation where we're trying to to uh, be the all that we can and uh, get some adjustments that would help us uh, reach that point. Uh, Mm, Roger. Let's uh, reach that point. Uh, mm, Roger. Yes, understood. Understood, Jim. Yeah, I didn't think I needed it really, but uh, you're coming. In, you're booming in here. But I guess it's this uh, one-way propagation. I, uh, but anyway, um, go ahead and pick up some more stations, and uh, I'll, I'll try to jump in there when I can. Now. Roger, Rod. Well, the difference is this is a kilowatt. I'm I'm talking to you on a kilowatt, and you're talking to me on a hundred watts, sir. And I kept telling you that you 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 know you were you were marginal signal. You were just over the uh, noise level of that uh, SDR that I was copying you on. So uh, you know I would if well anyway uh, that uh, amp should be ready to go really. If, uh, you you turned it on. You're ready to go. Really, it's, uh, you turned it on. This is K 
KC2 Lemex Ray Delta. Okay, Jim, I got the amp on right now, and just forgive me, that's my 60 year ear, okay? Hi, hi. <laughs> but anyway, any difference, uh, Jim? Over. Yes, sir, it came up uh, a little bit there. Now tell me about your antenna system, and let me look around and uh, see which uh, is a better copy. Roger. Around and uh, see which uh, is a better copy. Roger. Roger, Roger. Antenna box hotel whiskey, and uh, it's a, you know, the uh, dipole, I have it um, broadside to the northeast. I have it um, broadside to the northeast. Broadside to the northeast, Roger, Roger. Roger, Roger. Okay, well, gee, uh, it sounds a whole lot better. I got a much better copy on you. I'm still on uh, my uh, Georgia SDR, but uh, it's a lot more clearer. And uh, if you uh, would like a better recording, why don't you tell me uh, the best thing that you'd like about your radio in about 15 seconds or so? Thing that you'd like about your radio in about 15 seconds or so. Roger, Roger, this is KC to LXD. Well, like I just said, I just bought this uh, Yaesu FT991 Alpha. I am very happy with it. I also bought myself an Icon 7300. But surprisingly, I find myself uh, on this Yaesu 991 Alpha for some reason. Uh, so I'm just trying to figure out what I'm doing wrong with the uh, Icon 7300. <laughs> but anyway, Hope uh, you're hearing me a lot better. I got the amp on. I'm running about 400 watts. This is KC2 Lima X-ray Delta. Back to you. Roger, Roger, Rod. Uh, sounds really good. And uh, gosh, that 7300 is a is a cakewalk as far as setup. Uh, it's one of the uh, simplest uh, radios. It's only a, a two-band EQ. It's got a fixed. Uh, uh, mid-range control so you don't have to uh, to uh, mess with that you don't have to do anything with that because it's not there all you have is a bass and a treble boost uh, so it's, that's uh, just uh, simplicity personified Roger that's uh, just uh, simplicity personified Roger 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 well Jim listen I really thank you for helping me get my audio uh, where it needs to be I really thank you for that God bless you and uh, Roger, Roger, Rod. All right, uh, 73, sir. Uh, next time we'll start with the uh, the uh, PA on, the power amp on, uh, please. Uh, 73 to you, sir. You have a great afternoon, beautiful weekend, and uh, if you get a chance, uh, uh, check with us uh, next Friday. We'd love to have you. This is the Friday afternoon QSO VLOCnet. If you have a radio you want to check out, give me a shout. Kilo Fox 8 Alpha Hotel Lima. Alpha Hotel Lima, come back uh, slowly uh, with your call sign, please. Kilo Fox 8, Alpha Hotel Lima, make what name? Roger, Alpha Hotel Lima, what's the name there? Uh, the name's Nathan, Jim. I talked to you last week there, but our video didn't make it to YouTube, so I thought I'd check in real quick. I don't want to waste a whole lot of time, but... Like to get a sound check on video. Yes, sir. <laughs> uh, last week was somewhat near a disaster. Uh, I'm hoping for better results. Uh, you know, this this uh, Friday and and uh, let's see, uh, what's your location there and name? Uh, name's Nathan and it's uh, Sutton, West Virginia, Whiskey Victor. Okay, Mason from West Virginia, is that a Roger? Yeah, if you got an amplifier, turn it on. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. If you got an amplifier, turn it on. Yeah, Mason, are you still there, sir? Yes, sir. And whereabouts are you, sir? Uh, West Virginia. I'm in West Virginia. Whiskey Victor. Roger, roger. And what radio are you running? Uh, Yazoo FD-7300. 
Roger, do you recall it? Was I hitting you on my uh, PASDR? Roger, do you recall it? Was I hitting you on my uh, PASDR? Uh, you know, I don't remember which one you. I don't know where, which it was Virginia or PA. I can't remember which one you had me on there last time. Yes, sir. I've got you about 20 over on my PASDR, sir. It's just sounding beautiful. Why don't you uh, tell me uh, uh, about your antenna system uh, for about 15 to 20 seconds and so get a good recording for you, sir? Seconds and get a good recording for you, sir. Okay, yeah, I'm just running a. Uh, I've got a 64 to 1 on in with about uh, 130 feet of speaker wire, uh, roughly 20 foot off the ground, uh, kind of sloping down to about 12 foot. Um, I'm running this 100 watts, whatever everything, everything the radio will give you. Um, been been getting some good QSOs with this setup, so I don't know, um, power-wise, it seems to be okay. Yes, sir, sounds good. Uh, what mic is that you're running? Yes, sir, sounds good. Uh, what mic is that you're running? It's just a regular hand mic, the way, uh, the way we had it all set up there. Roger, you're still working that on the, the corner of your lips, Roger. Working that on the, the corner of your lips, Roger. Yeah, Roger that. Yeah, okay, and tell me uh, the best thing you like about your radio. Yeah, okay, and tell me uh, the best thing you like about your radio. Uh, the best features I like uh, just being able to use an external display makes it a lot easier for hunting down those, those uh, potential fuses. Um, that and having the built in tuner makes it awful nice. Roger, Roger. Now, uh, what I want you to do is uh, make sure you keep your ALC out. And, um, you know, uh, it's got to have something to do as you're talking to your friends and neighbors around the world. So just, uh, you know, concentrate on that ALC meter and uh, keeping your, uh, your voice uh, uh, driving that ALC meter in the sweet spot, which is uh, uh, two-thirds or uh, seven. Two thirds or seven is that sweet spot, and you want to try to keep it there uh, with your voice. You might have to move up your your ALC a little bit or down, and, but you want to stay right in that sweet spot of uh, two thirds or seven, Roger. Right in that sweet spot of uh, two thirds or seven, Roger. Yeah, where'd you go? Seems to be hitting it at about yeah, where'd you go? Audio. Audio. Yeah, that last one sounded about right. Yeah, that last one sounded about right. You copy me okay? Give me a blue line and uh, with audio. You copy me okay? Audio. Just try the blue line on that one. Yes, yeah, so that looks good. That looks good. Looks about uh, a 3 dB dynamic range, which means your average percent of peak modulation is uh, 80 to 85 percent. Roger. Peak modulation is uh, 80 to 85 percent. Roger. Yeah, Roger that. All right, well, we got a couple of things there uh, recorded. It sounded pretty good. Uh, you probably enjoy your uh, recording, I hope. Uh, we'll have it uploaded to YouTube by noon tomorrow. All you got to do is go to YouTube and do a call at a search for KC9VKV, followed by the word logbook, and it'll take you to this recording. Roger. Followed by the word logbook, and it'll take you to this recording. Roger. Roger that, Jim. I sure appreciate it. I don't want to take up any more of your time. So, uh, 7 3 to you. And uh, I'll let you pick up somebody up there. 73. Roger, Roger, sir. 73 that way. You have a great afternoon, beautiful weekend. You get a chance to uh, join us next Friday. We'd love to have you. This is the Friday afternoon QSO VlogNet. If you have a radio you want to check out, give me a shout. VlogNet. If you have a radio you want to check out, give me a shout.
to check out. Give me a shout. Between uh, Pennsylvania and uh, Georgia, back and forth, and then here, and then to Georgia, and back to Pennsylvania. Roger, who was that? Oh, this is Brock, I'm sorry. Brock, no Obama, KK4CZ, Cole Zipper. Roger, Brock, I should have known that voice. Uh, good afternoon, sir. Hey, good afternoon to you, too. I've been watergating, and uh, you're doing a good job. Don't uh, let all the scoffers that bother you just talk over them. Roger, Roger. You yeah, usually do, sir. <laughs> uh, you doing all right? Yeah, yeah, doing pretty good. Just uh, hanging around in here and uh, uh, the, went up to the repeater, uh, the 145.410 bit the dust, and uh, the amplifier uh, went toes up, so... Uh, I'm putting in a, uh, tomorrow I'll put in a, a new repeater altogether, a uh, XPR 8400 Motorola DMR mixed mode repeater, but it's just going to be FM only. Ah, uh, roger that, roger that. On the, on what frequency? Uh, it's on the 145410, 145410 with a 654 digital tone squelch. Roger, all right, I'll uh, make a note of that, sir. Good to, good to hear you. Yeah. Okay. And, uh, yeah, there's new, new, uh, N4 TNS, uh, triple nickel simplex in that repeater up. And, uh, the, the UHF is the, uh, best one. It's 442.5, 442.5 plus 5 megahertz. And it's, uh, 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 let's see, 365 digital tone squelch. Think how many days there are a year? 365. There you go. There you go. And uh, how is your uh, ground system coming along? Oh, man, I've got, uh, that's what I'm operating off of. <laughs> the uh, 4,000 feet of uh, uh, horizontal wire underneath, uh, all underneath me, the house, and, and out, out off into Southern Parkway and down Dale, <laughs> the neighbor's yards. Roger, Roger. Well, what do you figure your... Uh, uh, is your uh, impedance? Uh, I know your your SWR at the operating frequency is probably 0. .000. Yeah, actually, it's around. Uh, I stopped stopped getting uh, uh, results at about uh, uh, at 32 ohms, 32 ohms ground, and then I added more wire, and it didn't make any difference. So that's that's kind of where I stopped right there, 32 ohms, and then uh, then I have a hairpin match uh, on the vertical to uh, take it back up to 50 ohms. Yes, sir. Good going. Good going. Sounds just clean as a tack. Oh, there you go. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm operating off of, is that uh, Verde cackle. And it's got about uh, 3,500 feet of wire around it. Roger, I'm on my local antenna, and uh, I, I'm <laughs> last last week we had disaster strike, and we missed the uh, the audio of our <laughs> our uh, show, which is unfortunately the main thing. So uh, we did have to scramble to get some additional tracks uh, to uh, have some uh, some bit of audio in there. But uh, today I've got my fingers crossed. You, you know, we're recording on uh, computer. And this computer uh, program has a bunch of uh, normal throughs that we have to change uh, th these uh, settings to make it work for us. And this, every once in a while, we miss one, Roger. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I know. Well, in the conditions, you know. And, and uh, <laughs> you know, that guy, we were, I was struggling to hear the uh, 991 guy. I can't remember his name, but you know, I was going from SDR to SDR to SDR. And, He's fading out on everything, and, uh, you know, gosh, I wish he'd have had that amplifier. If it's only doing 400 watts, uh, you know, if it'll do 800, let's do 800. Uh, you know, I can't spell QRP, right? Exactly, exactly. And, yeah, you know, I would have hoped that he would have uh, come up with that uh, in the beginning. It should have, uh, could have, would have <laughs> saved a lot of uh, time and talking over each other. Yeah, I know. I was hearing you, and he'd, 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 he'd key up, and then you didn't hear him because I was on the other SDR, and he's on one SDR. <laughs> yeah, it was, uh, it was a uh, goat rope at best. Okay. All right, I just wanted to chime in and say hey to you, and, and uh, you're doing a good job. Don't, uh, you know, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pump you up, and everybody else is, you know, uh, <laughs> these people, just let them go. Golly, you know. 
So uh, do 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 your job. You're doing a good job. And uh, catch you later. It's Brock in Lousyville, Kentucky, at 18th Street, and shots fired. KK4CZ in uh, Lousyville. Roger, Roger, Brock, 73, sir. Good to hear you. And uh, don't be a stranger. Uh, and uh, as always, uh, if you want to hear that beautiful audio, I've got my fingers crossed. <laughs> if you go to YouTube and do that call it a search, followed by the word logbook, that will take you to this recording, and I'll have it uploaded by noon tomorrow. So, 73, sir. And uh, this is uh, KC9 BKV, the Friday afternoon, QSOV like net. If you have a radio you want to check out, give me a shout. Check out, give me a shout. Yeah, this is KC9 VKV, the Friday afternoon QSO Vlognet. And uh, gosh, uh, I think we're going to go fishing here if we don't uh, uh, get some response. Uh, this is KC9 VKV, Friday afternoon QSO Vlognet. Uh, this is KC9 VKV, Friday afternoon QSO Vlognet. Uh, this is KC9 VKV, How about out in Iowa? Anybody out in Iowa or Missouri around through that way? I think it is uh, time to go fishing here, so we're going to, to bail out. Uh, say hasta la vista. Adios, muchachos. Uh, I've got to go fishing myself, so I'll see everybody. We'll say 73s. And, uh, and gosh, uh, we'll be returning this frequency back to normal amateur radio use. This is KC9 VKV Clear.